And the Palm Sunday suicide bombings at a Christian churches in Egypt have highlighted the increased activity by ISIS. But one of the most effective tools in countering Islamic violence may not involve bombs or bullets. One America's John Hines has that story from Washington. As was the case with communism, the quest to defeat radical Islamic terror may take a while. And one of the most effective weapons may actually be something that serves as a voice for American democracy and human rights in places which have little or none of either, says South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. During the Soviet era, everybody talked about how encouraging it was to know somebody was out there for you, that you were not alone. So the voice of America reinforcing the narrative that you're not by yourself, that radical Islam, there are better options, uh, is so important. Uh, it is an ideological struggle. There's no capital to conquer. There's no navy to sink. If it is an ideological struggle, then one of the people at its forefront might be John Lansing, the chief of the Board of Governors of Voice of America and its affiliated broadcasting networks, which are trying to change the hearts and minds in the terrorist cradles of the Middle East. Well, that's one of our five key areas of emphasis is, is uh, not just covering Islamic terrorism, but becoming a conduit for people who are in the path of recruitment to ISIS and offering places for them to have conversations. We have a program called Raise Your Voice through the Middle East Broadcasting Networks that produces television documentaries in the Middle East with families who have been the, the victim of ISIS recruitment. And then it encourages people to come across into a social media platform, a Facebook platform. And on that Facebook platform are some 250,000 people a week hearing about the false allure of ISIS, says Lansing, who promises more to come. So it's an example of a media effort that's not just producing news content, but rather enabling conversations for an entire region to raise the voice of moderate uh, Islamic uh, citizens to help them fight their own battle with the recruitment efforts of ISIS. We're expanding it this year. It's currently in Iraq and Syria, but now we're going to expand it to all of uh, northern Africa. Fighting Islamic terrorism is a major priority, says Lansing, but that could change in light of President Trump's executive order to reassess many agencies and their functions. Nevertheless, it is in this light that Lansing believes his agency delivers unique value. We're an agency that's relatively small in the federal government. We're a $750 million agency. We reach 280 million people a week in telling America's story to parts of the world that don't like America, and we help fight that narrative. As ISIS attacks continue, Voice of America and its affiliated broadcasters may be called upon to expand their contribution to America's fight against terror. John Hines, What America News, Washington.